All right. So vertical farming is the next frontier in agricultural innovation. Although the techniques of vertical farming have been around for about a decade, it is only now that vertical farms look to be on the cusp of meeting our food security needs on a mass scale. Here's more. Land is scarce. It is one of the biggest constraints in expanding agricultural produce. An innovative method to overcome this limitation is vertical farming. Vertical farming can be practiced in the middle of urban centers, even in windowless buildings. With the help of LED lights which mimic sunshine for photosynthesis and targeted fertilizers and controlled humidity, vertical farming promises to revolutionize the manner in which we produce our food. Despite its merits, till recently, vertical farming had been dismissed as too futuristic with crippling initial costs for setting up and skeptics even questioning the taste of food produced in a laboratory. But all that is about to change. We're competitive with organic today uh, and we're working very hard to, to continue to, to make more and more crops grocery store competitive. We're, we have our own strains of crops such that we can make crops that have never been commercialized available to people because we believe if people are going to eat healthier, uh, fresh fruits and vegetables have to be able to compete with packaged food in flavor and convenience and shelf life. And, uh, and so we're competitive today and we're making more and more crops competitive year over year uh, with, uh, with the middle of the grocery store. Presently, vertical farms are focused on producing stuff such as lettuce and salads. Indoor farms stacked with plants from the floor to the ceiling have boosted their production. This isn't some scene from a sci-fi movie. Several vertical farms operating as startups are already supplying their produce to hundreds of grocery stores in the United States. Again, I saw the vertical walls and I was impressed. But it wasn't until the end of the tour that I was able to taste the produce that I was sold. So flavorful, uh, I never would have guessed that it was grown with so much technology. I mean, I never would have thought that produce could be that delicious. Vertical farms use 95% less water than conventional farms. Automation and robotics combined with artificial intelligence has brought the precision of the lab onto the agricultural field. It has also boosted the nutrition in the produce. Some controlled extra blue light and extra red light has also ensured that the food even tastes better. I believe that there's an opportunity here and I think you have to look at the situation and what problems you're trying to solve. So if you're looking in the Middle East where they import all of their food and you look at the specific climate there, um, it makes sense to grow sunless indoor and power it with solar arrays. Or if you're looking at the mega cluster cities of up to 100 million in China, you'd want to be in the urban core because supply, the supply chain is going to be a problem uh, and you want to place these close to the population. The promise of vertical farms has made companies like Amazon and SoftBank to sit up and take notice. Hundreds of millions of dollars are being poured into vertical farms by investors who are betting big on this laboratory style of agriculture. With the world's population expected to touch almost 10 billion by 2050, the time for vertical farms appears to have well and truly arrived. And depending on where you live, you can purchase the produce of a vertical farm at a supermarket near you. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One.